people are always asking me, oh, I've got small hands, can I wear, can I wear a big ring? Well, the answer is, yeah, of course you can, as long as it's elegant. So I'm going to demonstrate this right now. We've got sweeties for rings up here. And, <laughs> yep, grabbing a few here. And we'll start with Rachel's favorite. So which finger does this fit? Whichever one you put. Yep, OK. This is quite a large ring. And I think you'll agree it's really pretty. And the thing is, this, this has a wide band created by a split shank. But it's elegant, because it's a fine split shank. And it's really, really pretty stone. It's faceted, it's round. And I think that's a really easy piece for someone to wear. You don't have to have a very large hand to wear this. Um, if you're going for something like real finger jewelry, I suppose, almost armor in the Ale Alexander McQueen Sean Lean style, yeah, you might want to consider longer fingers or a larger hand. But something like this, which is quite classic, would be absolutely fine. It's really pretty. OK, so you hold that one. Well, I'll take that one, actually. We'll remove this, because it could find itself stuck on her finger. Mm. <laughs> and try another one. And this is bigger. This tanzanite is really, really beautiful and a lovely color. This color up close for Rachel would be a little bit hard to wear up close to the face. But if you like to wear something and it doesn't like you worn up here, the answer is to put that on your hand. And again, this is a really big ring, but it looks lovely. So if you can all see from there, it looks really, really super. And that color may be a little harder for you to wear here. Not impossible, but a little harder. You can easily wear it down there. It's fine. Returning to color briefly, if you have a color that you like and you think perhaps it's not right for you, you can actually change the temperature, the warmth or the coolness of the color by changing the metal that it's set in. So hard for you to see, but come and have a look at this afterwards. We've got two peridot rings here, and one is set in a white gold, and one is set in a yellow and white gold, actually. So the band is yellow, and the basket is uh, a white gold. By adding a white gold to this, you're making it cooler. And therefore, that may be easier for you to wear if you look better in the cooler metals. By sticking to the yellow gold, that's more traditional and might actually um, work again on a warmer skin tone. So we'll do a bit of modeling here. I'll, oh, I'll take this one. I'll, 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 thank you very much. <laughs> right, OK. And again, this is a reasonable size ring. But it looks really pretty. Looks really pretty. OK. Let's talk briefly about what happens with earrings and neck length, et cetera, et cetera. Because this is another area that people are usually asking about. Can I wear these earrings? What happens to my neck, et cetera, et cetera? Most of us can wear most things until things start to get extreme, and then we might have to consider. So I've got some gorgeous earrings, which are lovely, very different sizes, and mainly drops. And we can have a look at those and see what happens. So this is to show that we're actually being able to wear quite a large earring. Now, with the neck length, if you want to elongate your neck slightly, a drop earring is a really nice way to do it. But you can't have something that's too big if you don't have the length on the neck to actually accommodate that. So if we looked at something like this, a beautiful aquamarine art deco, that might start, but only just, to be slightly longer than ideal, but only just. It's those really big chandelier earrings that might be quite difficult to wear for some people. But this is really pretty, and the color's great for Rachel. Fantastic. <laughs>